Come along on our journey here on the Go Laurel Highlands Adventure Series, your connection to all of the exciting adventures, cultural attractions, and rich history of the Laurel Highlands region. Hey guys, Kelly here from Go Laurel Highlands, and today we're going to be talking about two things, drive to destinations and dog friendly areas. Those are the two things that we think are here to stay. So right now, I'm going to introduce you to my dog. He's six months old. This is Baxter, very lovable, and he's going to be the star of today's episode. So come along. We're going to show you all of the things that you can do with your furry friends. Hi, Debbie. Hi. All right, so today we are here at Hampton by Hilton in Greensburg. And Debbie, I am so excited to be here because you guys do something really unique for pet families. Would you mind just telling me a little bit about that? Sure, welcome to our uh, hotel. Thank and you. We always welcome our pet friends. <laughs> I wanted to let you know we do charge a pet fee, right? but a portion of the pet fee goes to our local animal shelters. I love that. And I know that you guys are very, very animal friendly. So I'd like to show our uh, viewers today one of the rooms that people could stay in when they bring their dog. Is that of a possibility? Course. Yes. Okay, great. Baxter, are you ready to see your room? <laughs> so the exciting thing is that all of the rooms here are pet friendly. <laughs> all right, check it out, Bax. Take a look. What do you think? Oh, this is so nice. Huh, you can stay here, right? All right, guys. Mwah. So we're gonna move on to the next place. Hampton by Hilton Greensburg, thank you so much for letting us explore today. Uh, we look forward to staying here in the future. Hi, Kelly. Hey. Hi, Baxter. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Say I'm so hi. 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 <laughs> All right, so now I would like to introduce Gina. She's with Alpha Omega Dog Service, correct? Yes. Okay. And uh, one of the great things about their services is if you're staying in a hotel or a lodging facility within the Laurel Highlands, you can give them a call and they will come to the hotel or your lodging facility to take your dog for a walk, a run, uh, to play in the dog park, which is super exciting because sometimes there are adventures that you want to go on, right? Yes. That you can't take your furry friend. So uh, how did you guys come up with this idea? Um, well, my brother likes to ski, so it was something that kind of connected with him. Yeah. Um, he likes to go up to Somerset and Hidden Valley and ski all day. Nice. And he has two golden doodles, so Max and Charlie. And we thought, well, that would be a great idea if he wanted to rent a cabin. He's very social. He's got lots of friends. They can rent a cabin. They can go up there, hang out. But then we can come up, let the dogs out, play with the dogs while they're hitting the slopes all day. That's so fantastic. Yeah. So they don't have to worry about who's going to let the dogs out and they don't have to leave them behind and find a pet sitter behind because they're from Pittsburgh. Okay, great. So basically they can contact you mm -hmm. and then some of the lodging facilities will also have your information to refer people to as well. Correct. Yep. Okay. Through the Go Laurel Highlands website, my website, reach out straight to me. Um, you can, we can set that all up. We yeah. We do like to do like a free meet and greet um, just to kind of get to know you guys. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, that's that's the idea. Perfect. And today we are going to head to the park, and Gina's going to give Baxter his own adventure in the Laurel Highlands while you guys would be out exploring and doing your own thing. So come on, let's go. Come on, Baxter. Let's come on, go. boy. <laughs> I know. Come on. You want to be fun? One of one of my favorite things about the Laurel Highlands, of course, is all of the state parks and the national parks. Yeah. And they're really dog friendly right now. I mean, you, you go there and there's a ton of dogs. I think it's important though, for people to really know their dog. Yeah. And make sure your dog's on a leash. Absolutely. <laughs> and please clean up after your dog so you don't ruin it for other people. Yes. So see how he's pulling? I'm gonna give him to you because you know how to do this stuff. Well, Maybe you can show him a, a thing pressure, or two. It's a pressure release system. Um, whenever you're training dogs, whenever they drive forward, they want to, it's in their nature to walk faster than us. They have four legs, they, they walk faster. So when you're teaching a dog pressure release, we use marker systems and different things where we would use a yes word and pair it to food. And basically what, what I would do is teach him when he drives forward, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but as soon as he gives me some slack and he backs into it, our walk continues forward. Um, so it basically dogs kind of avoid pressure because it's uncomfortable. 
Um, but if we teach him that driving forward is going to get him what he wants, he's never going to learn how to walk beside us. Nice. So when I'm training a dog to walk on a loose leash, we should do. I sit beside, should I be beside you? Or either or, me? whatever makes it easier okay. for him right now. Um, we do lots of like, you know, we would go like this. Yes, good boy. And then we would turn the other direction. Yes, good boy. And we want to basically, we want Baxter to be more he, in tune with us yes. okay. than what's going on in the park. Right. So it's yes, a, it's probably boy. a four week <laughs> course to teach him how to walk loosely. Right. Um, it's but not going to happen overnight. No, absolutely not. <laughs> um, people have to extend their dog's grace too. They want a dog that um, will learn how to do certain behaviors. Mm -hmm in a short amount of time right. but it takes eight, us 18 years to graduate high school <laughs> you know to graduate yeah, you know with true. our education you're good boy. Yes, boy good boy yeah um it, it's a lot of it too is just building that relationship baxter's new to you guys right you guys have a relationship to build yes good boy, good boy. yes good boy <laughs> And the other thing too is, you know, a lot of people want to just give their dog all this leash, but he has more momentum to pull. Right. He has more, you know, momentum to drive forward. We want to be able to let our dogs sniff and have fun, but they have to be able to learn that, you know, it doesn't matter how, how loose the, or how short the leash is, you know? Right. We want them to- I typically keep him on a short leash like that. To walk close. Because I feel like I have more control. And uh, 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 this is the best way to hold a leash. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So not, whenever not I- put your arm through it? Um, it, you can, so I, I like can put my arm pull, through it yeah, and then I can hold it okay. like this. Okay. Um, but this is almost impossible to break. Okay. That, that grip. Cool. So this is a grip that I like. Like I said, you can have the slack up here, but this is how I like to hold it. Um, a, a professional trainer I shadowed in Pittsburgh taught me that. Oh, cool. So how long have you been working with animals? Um, I got my dog whenever I was 17, so about 10 years. Okay, look at that cute little one Yeah, I see you. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. All um, right. Let's go this way. How about it? Way? Wanna go this way? Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I just hope he doesn't try to jump in the lake. <laughs> Does he like to swim? I don't know yet. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out, huh? We'll let you, we're not training you, so we'll let you sniff. <laughs> You're a good boy, Baxter. Yeah, I think it's amazing to see, like, we came to an event in this park over the weekend, and it was the first outing for Baxter, and just to see how the dogs interact with each other. Um, yes. And just to see, too, most of the dogs that were there um, were very well behaved, so the owners knew that they would probably be okay around other dogs. Yeah, it's important to know um, your dog's social cues, stressors, um, different things like that. Uh, but dogs are very social they enjoy being around other dogs um it's just it, there's a certain temperament in a certain dog that that's good in public um and if you know that your dog's not don't put them in that situation exactly. there's nothing to be embarrassed about if your dog isn't outgoing or social right me personally i have a dog that doesn't enjoy other dogs Aww. but that's okay yeah that's her personality right <laughs> You're already walking so Baxter much better, seems bud. Baxter to like a little bit of everything, huh, Baxter? And every a little bit of everything in, in doses. Right. Doses are, are good, you know? Yeah. We don't, when our kids get tired, they start to act out. Right. So same thing with the dogs. So I guess I have a question then. So when you're going to a lodging place to pick up an animal, and this is your first interaction with them, have you experienced or what do you do if you experience a dog that may have some aggression or fear towards one of your staff members that are coming in there? Um, we don't press the matter. You know, we take time. We get the dog to trust us. Um, we might spend some time on the other side of the door for a while. Um, just kind of letting the dog know, hey, like, you know, we're not here to, to make you do something you don't want to do. Um, there's a lot of dogs that we take care of that, you know, they aren't super social. They aren't super outgoing. Um, so we, we, just, uh, we just hang out with them and maybe the hotel a little bit. If they're not comfortable with something, then we're not going to push them. Right, you know, we're going right. to give them time to kind of take in their environment and take it in because they're also going to be nervous from coming from someplace else right. into a new area. So we're not going to push anything. Like I said, we might just play at the hotel. We might just play in the room a little bit. Um, most importantly, make sure that they go to the bathroom. <laughs> um, but if we got a dog like Baxter that enjoys going for a walk, um, we'll take him for a walk. Uh, even some of my local clients, uh, we've taken dogs to the park. Okay. Um, 
I used to work at a kennel and I went over to Keystone all the time. I love Keystone. Took the dogs there. We go to Mammoth a lot too, huh, Bex? Yeah. So we're going to head up to Peach Park. They have a dog park up there, so mm -hmm. we'll go and check it out. Um, Baxter, are you ready to play? One of the great things for Baxter, because our we have a nice big yard, but it's not fenced in. So he's only six months old and we're still a little skeptical. So when we feel like he needs to get those wiggles out, we take him to the dog park and when there's nobody in there, then we just kind of let him in there. He hasn't even learned to play fetch yet. We'll show you that shortly. <laughs> <laughs> huh, Bax? That's, it's so strange. He's not a toy dog. He doesn't really get into so yeah, we're just gonna let him explore. Um, he's probably gonna go visit this other dog, mm -hmm. if I know him. And then we'll try to show you his terrible attempts at <laughs> playing ball. <laughs> what do you smell? I saw a picture on Facebook that looked like if we were to walk in the snow, we can see all these tracks. That's, if you colored every single different track was a different color, that's how dogs' that's noses how work. Smell. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. It was a visual. Yeah, look at them. Happy tails, right? Happy tails? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. The other dog's a little unsure. High, higher means confidence. Waggy tail just doesn't always mean a dog is right. happy. It could be, mean nervous as well, right? Nervous, it's the, yeah, how they carry their tail. Um, Baxter's relaxed. He, he's just checking out. See how his tail is low mm -hmm. and just, carefree um, you know and he's offering a play bow which is nice the other dog is kind of turning its its head away you know um, turning a muzzle away is a good thing I'm not a threat do you have certain steps that you take for safety for Baxter when you're out and about well we don't normally have him in a pen with other dogs okay um, he's he seems to me like he's just a very Chill dog that wants to be friends with everybody. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any aggression <coughs> yet. Yeah, <laughs> no, it goes with it goes with the breed a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's why so many people like them. Thank you so much yeah. for everything, and uh, don't forget Alpha Omega. If you're traveling in the Laurel Highlands region, they are your go-to. Take the whole family on a geological adventure at Laurel Caverns, home to Pennsylvania's largest cave. Discover unseen passages deep within the mountains. Traverse four miles of natural passages in the beautiful mountains of the Laurel Highlands. Are you ready to explore? Visit Laurel Caverns, where learning goes underground. Guys, we are on the Westmoreland Heritage Trail, and that actually goes all the way from Export to Trafford. And we are going to hit up one of my favorite pizza places right off the trail, Ginny's. Come on, boy. Hey, Chris. <laughs> hey, Kelly, how are you? Good, how are you? Fantastic. It's wonderful to see you this here today. This is Baxter. Hey, Baxter. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on, buddy. We'll have a seat. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful so how you. are you? It's going fantastic. Good, good. You're gearing up for the season. We right? are ready. All right. So Ow. when is the big opening? Planning on having the outdoor space here open up on April 1st. Okay. Which is uh, very exciting for all the people on the trail for sure. Absolutely. So typically, just so you guys know, um, in, the, in the warmer months, they have the outdoor open for a lot of uh, people with the animals and so forth. Yeah. There's a bike rack right over there, so you can literally jump off the trail, sit here, and get something to eat, which is awesome. The reason that this is one of my favorite places is I'm gluten-free and vegetarian, so thank you so much for having cauliflower crust pizza. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Did you have somebody in the family that had celiacs, or did you guys just? No, we just picked up on the kind of the emerging trend awesome. for the gluten-free diet, and um, off of the cauliflower crust. Uh, and all of our pastas can have a, a gluten-free penne noodle substituted no way, for them. That's so cool. We also have a gluten-free bun. Any sandwich can ah. be turned into a gluten-free uh, meal. <laughs> awesome. So. Very good. So um, do a lot of dogs come here? We get tons of dogs. Yeah? yeah? A lot of people off the trail? They come right off the trail um, all year round. Um, we'll come up with a water dish we keep by I the trail. I see a water dish. We're going to have to take Baxter there. <laughs> and oftentimes we'll bring out little treats for the dogs. And, oh, I but love this back that. area here is kind of our designated dog friendly okay, area great. and it's always a hit. So if somebody wants to come off the trail and come here, do they just sit here or do they have to let somebody know inside? There'll be staff um, roaming around back here and okay. you just let them know. 
And this back area here. is open from April 1st until approximately when? Usually around mid-October, okay. depending on the weather. Okay, great. And you guys have local bands here as well, right? Yeah, Saturday nights in the spring, summer, and fall. Uh, this turns into a live music venue back here. It's uh, it's rocking. It's a ton of fun. <laughs> cool. <laughs> awesome. Just so you guys know, too, it is a really popular place. So definitely on the weekends, you want to call and get a reservation in advance. Yep, certainly. So, I think I'd even say weekday uh, evenings as well, reservations. Uh, yes always best okay and weekdays you can you it's you can probably just come right yeah, weekdays for lunch normally you can get a table and okay anytime outside of that definitely call us all right so well thanks so much for talking with us sure thing kelly it was a pleasure seeing you here yeah we might um we might stick around for lunch if that's okay i would love to have you guys here as our guest today sure, certainly. <laughs> all right cool i'm gonna go take baxter for some water okay great thanks chris sure. Oh my goodness, look at this feast. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. We're excited to have you guys. And Oscar's having ice cream for, for lunch, huh, Oscar? Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's actually our homemade ice cream oh. that we make at our creamery, which is at the other end of this bike trail, Parkside Creamery. So you, you lose weight, you walk to the creamery, you eat, you gain it, and you walk yeah. back. <laughs> People, our customers call it a calorie neutral day. There you go. So it works out well. I like it. I like it. So mm. let's tell the viewers a little bit about what we got going here. Yeah, so yours is on the cauliflower crust pizza, because we know you like to eat gluten-free. Yes. And that's our truffle shuffle oh. pizza, which is a mushroom uh, specialty pizza that vegetarians definitely love. Okay. On the other end of the spectrum, this is on a traditional pizza dough. This is our meditarian pizza. Okay, but definitely not for me. Which has five <laughs> different Italian meats on it. Five and, Italian meats? Yes. Okay. And then some uh, cheese and basil gar garnish. So speaking speaking of Italian, so you come from an Italian background. Correct. What? Uh, where did Ginny's come from? So we were actually uh, fourth generation in the uh, Italian food restaurant business. Okay. Um, and Ginny was our grandma. Aww. She had a restaurant called Nigro's, okay. which was a large popular Italian restaurant. Where was that? In North Versailles. Okay. And we named the restaurant Ginny's in her honor because she was the matriarch of the family. So how many family members are involved in my, Jimmy's? Myself, my two brothers, and then our lovely wives. Yay! One, one of them is here. This is my wife, Mindy. <laughs> Hi, Mindy. <laughs> it's a lot of yes. work, right? It's a family affair. And this is our manager, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hello. <laughs> She's the one that keeps this ship running awesome. uh, every day. All right. Well, let's dive in. Thanks so much, guys, for having us. Sure thing. So what's the best kind here for Baxter? And tell me, you were talking about the ice cream shop that you guys own that's not open yet, but there's like a super special dog ice cream dish? Yes, so just eight miles down this bike trail, we own what's called Parkside Creamery, okay. which is our ice cream store, where all this ice cream is homemade at um, every day. Oh, wow. And uh, we have a special treat for dogs, because again, <laughs> that's right on the trail, and the dogs come right off the trail. We have what's called a Fido Bowl. Oh my goodness. And we put a couple milk bones in it, and then a couple scoops of whatever ice cream the dogs has a fancy for. <laughs> And that's Great. our Fido Bowl, and uh, it's a huge hit. And when do you guys open over there? We'll be opening up there about the first week of April. Same so, thing, okay. So same time as our back patio right. opens up here. Awesome, all right, well, what's Baxter gonna try here today? Well, I think Baxter might like uh, one of our new flavors that we just had in, which is running low because it was very popular <laughs> this weekend. It's our peanut butter chocolate chip cookie Ooh, dough. Oh, let's give it a shot, Baxter. Let's, let's see, he'll let him be the judge and we'll see what he thinks. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my I think it's goodness. A hit. Do you love it? <laughs> He's never had ice cream before. <laughs> Yummy. Yay, Jenny's, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're a big silly, you know that? <laughs> All right, well, I think we had a really good day. What do you think, Bax? Well, I'll say. You thank did. you so much. No problem, Kelly. Thank you, I'll guys. I'll see you again next time. Sounds good. Stop All in right. again soon. After April, right? Right on. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. All right, Baxter. Come on, boy. <laughs>Okay, our next stop just down the road from Ginny's is Helltown Brewing. So we are going to check this place out. They are dog friendly. So Baxter's super excited. This is his first brewing adventure. <laughs> you ready, Bax? You're such a good boy. You're doing so good. You ready? Come on. 
Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, hi. Good. Do you guys allow pets inside or just outside? Inside and outside, as long as they're on a leash. Awesome. Welcome to Helltown, Baxter. And then um, we got treats too. Oh, treats? Treats. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Here you go. Oh my goodness, you're so spoiled today. And uh, do you guys have any gluten-free beer? Yes, our house light is gluten removed. Awesome, I'll do one of those and I'm gonna need a pour to our sticker. Absolutely, there's your sticker. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so we, get a, we get a ton of dogs, we have that bike trail. And so like some people come here park and you know. I love it. Go do their thing and then yeah. come back and. It's nice because you can kind of like veer off the track and come have a beer if you want. That's fantastic. While you're like walking your dog, you know? Yeah, yeah. How was the bone? Helltown Export. Do this you is like Carol. Helltown? You? Mm -hmm. So there's, um, speaking of Helltown, we're here at the brewery and they're part of our port tour. Um, there are 58 port tour locations, so be sure to check the app and also the port tour passports because you can find out there which places are dog friendly. And I would say I would have to wager that most of them are dog friendly. The cool thing about Helltown is that you're actually allowed inside as long as your dog is on leash. So that's a yay. <laughs> Okay guys, so now Baxter is here at Nemecolin Wooflin's Pet Resort and Spa, and he's gonna get an experience today. I'm, I'm a little bit jealous, Jennifer. <laughs> he's gonna get quite the works. We're gonna do some play time, maybe some ball play, and then end it with a great swim session. Wow. So I think he's gonna have a fun day. Absolutely, thank you so much, we're so excited. And just so you guys know, you don't have to stay at the resort to be able to use this facility. So it is open to the public, right Jennifer? It is completely open to the public. You can come by for boarding, daycare, or grooming. All right. Or all of the above. All of the above. <laughs> all right, so you're the guy. All right, we're gonna go <laughs> ahead and head back here. Baxter's excited to right. move and groove, huh? Um, these are our, so these are our sweets. And okay. so as you can see, some of we've got some construction going so on. So what what a, what like quantifies somebody getting in this area? This is going to be our platinum suite area. Okay. And so it is going to be. Um, is this boarding? This is boarding. Okay. Yes. And so they have uh, their own TV. We do an oh, elevated cool. bed for them. Um, this is included with three daily activities as well. Oh, how fun. I love it. I think he really likes this one. Yes! <laughs> I know. It's it's definitely the favorite of a lot of that our clients. That is really cute. Oh, I love this one. Look how cute. I know that not very That's adorable. adorable. All right. And so we will go out here. We've got a couple of friends. Fantastic. I'm sure he's oh he's on he's on the move. <laughs> when when they stay here uh, for boarding, they get yes. to come and play. You said they, they get do. to have three different activities, and then for the doggy daycare, is this where they get to be? This is where they get to be. Um, if it's raining, snowing, we um, that's why we're redoing our indoor play yard. Ah, okay. Um, to make it more of they have a, an area that they can play and have fun even when it's snowing, awesome. raining. Of course, we have some dogs that like Diesel over here. He, that would he like prefer. owns that area, well, right? <laughs> and he is, he's actually one of our retired sled dogs. Oh, oh um, that's so great. But when it is snowing and raining, that is, that's where he wants to be. Is okay. He wants to be out in the yard with the snow. Absolutely. And then, so the animals that are, um, that are being boarded here, you also have a vet on staff, we do. which is so exciting. Now, is that available to the, the community yes. as well? Yes, we do have um, Woodlands Animal Care Center, which is going to be right up the hill from Wolfland. Okay. Um, we do have Dr. Ressler there. That's so exciting. Yes, <laughs> and um, so if we ever have any, you know, any injuries or anything like that to where a dog maybe is having a little bit of loose stool or something along those right. lines from stress, from being away from the family, yep. we're able to get them up to the vet that day. Oh, that's um, beautiful. So it really works out well it's it's a huge benefit to ourselves as well as to our dogs and cats that stay with us yeah um, to have that facility on hand that's wonderful oh my goodness they're having so much fun now all right mister would you like to go for a swim want to go swim yeah so we're gonna get him suited up just because he's never uh, been in water before so I don't even know if he can swim so we're gonna play it safe so Patty doesn't have to dive in after him today um, but we actually were going to go to Ohio Pile 
you can take your dog on a whitewater adventure um, in the middle lake. And uh, unfortunately, the water was a little bit too rough right now, so we, we weren't able to do that. But I think this is a great first step to get him used to the water before we do something so outrageous. It, you know what? <laughs> a lot of people that have wanted to take their dog to Ohio pile will come in here, try the pool, oh, well, that's see a, how their dog gets, you know, handles the water, and start getting them used to it. Yes. Okay, come on, let's go. He's like, what's happening here, mom? I know. <laughs> what are you doing to me, mom? Huh? Can I go in here? Good boy. Oh, yay. Good boy. Yay, what a good boy. Good job, Baxter. Good boy. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Good it's, it's true. That's good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Oh, yay. He's, he's like, what in the he's world? He's like, what is going on? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> she says, yay. <laughs> What a good girl! Oh my goodness! Look at you! You're such a great girl! Oh, that was phenomenal! Go ahead, Bax. Her little face just cracks me up. Bax is like, nope. Go ahead, Bax. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, look at you! What a good boy! I think that's a wrap. I think so. We had so much fun with you and Baxter today. <laughs> Thank you so much. We yes. had a great time too. We'll definitely come back to visit. Oh, we'd love do that. Do you guys have like a little pamphlet that we, we can do. take with us? So we have um, a lovely brochure and it kind of goes through all of our different activities, um, our vaccination requirements, our lodging rates, um, some grooming services, and then all of our enrichment activities, which include Perfect. the swim sessions, group play, individual play. And we can just drop a link below so you guys can click there to go directly to the website. Thank you guys Thank so, you so much. much. We had a wonderful time. Thank you. We'll see you soon. That sounds great. We look forward right. to it. Come on, boy. Good boy. It's time to go. <laughs> yeah, you did good. What a great day in the Laurel Highlands. So excited that there are so many pet-friendly establishments popping up all over the place. Baxter got to visit a pet-friendly hotel, go to the dog park, eat homemade ice cream, walk, play, and chill at a local brewery. The next Bax adventure, whitewater rafting at Ohio Pile. See you on the next adventure.